Hey guys, how's it going? Continuing on with the world tour, we're going to go to Old Mystery. We're still soloing as Luna. If you guys are just tuning in, what this is is a world tour of all the missions. We're going to complete them as solo Luna. I'm going to kind of explain how we do that. So for this one, we're going to be doing Jump Disabled. I really don't want to do that, but it's the best I could find. We cannot lose Grappling Hook for this one though, otherwise this would be unplayable. So here we go. So essentially what these videos do is they act as kind of a guide for you guys trying to play them out as Luna to better help help you out. All right, so here we go. No jump. Woo woo. Let's see what we can do with that. Also, I'm looking for ideas for other future videos. If you have a character you'd like to see, please make suggestions too for other future operations or boss guides. So for the first part, we're essentially, we are just kind of chilling. Just gonna go through, clear mobs up with no real issue here. As you can see, this is doable with just a grappling hook so far. I would hate to do this without it. Actually, I wouldn't do it without it. Oh, I've already screwed up a little bit there. No problem. We'll fix that. Generally, I just try and jump there, but since I can't, we've got to adapt. It kind of sucks not having our ability cannon available but now that we do we'll be able to recover our shield a bit so off to kind of a rough start but we'll make a recovery here i ain't too worried about it so there is a pretty cool farm here you can do to get. Let me pull it up because the name escapes me. Yep. To get plasma batteries. So instead of completing this objective for plasma batteries, if you're struggling, you can just delay the time and you'll get elites to come out and they'll automatically spawn it. You can generally farm about 50 of these batteries that way. It's probably, actually, it's not probably, it is the best farm to get them. However, I'm just trying to show you guys how to complete the mission. So, if you want to know the farm, you can check out my video for it. How to farm plasma batteries, I've got it up on my channel. Utilizes this area and the best way to farm those batteries. But anyway, we're just going to sit, chill, get these Cooper ores for now. We're going to get some mobs to come out. They're going to be melee, so we're just going to AoE them down like so. Yep, here we go. And I don't know if it's going to be this mob. I think it is, but we're going to slay him just to find out. I'm pretty sure he's going to be the one to drop the batteries. If he's not, it's the next batch. Okay, yep. That's the one. So you'll get mobs similar to him. They'll drop the batteries every time. And we're not moving from this spot. I'm just going to keep my AoE going, replenish those shields. Now, if you're a little bit on the weaker side or you're not fully built as Luna, as long as you're not like going out of the time, you can step out to AoE mobs down. It won't hurt nothing. But in this case, we don't need to, so we're not going to. This is the only part that's really going to suck for me is this one right here, because we're going to have to get all of these. Oh shit, the best we can. So there's R3 for that. We'll go ahead and take the fall. This is going to take a minute. Wait till that goes. This is the sucky part of the no jumping, but they are going to be getting that patched out soon, so we're not going to have to worry about that.
There we go. We're good to continue. The only downside to no jump is right there. That was the only part of this mission I was really afraid of, but we came through, so I'm pretty happy. All this other stuff we can get through. So here, we're going to get a few groups of mobs we're going to need to AoE down. A lot of them will spawn right here and across the way. Since we don't have jump, I am going to use my sidearm here to kill battery one down So overall, I think this is actually a really cool map because it makes you utilize more than just your AoE for this. Oh, actually, I take that back. If you decided to make sure you got jump and grapple, you wouldn't really have to worry about doing it the way I'm doing it. I just don't really want to jump back and forth between the two areas. But it looks like they're going to come to me, so that's good. So this guy will also drop some batteries for us, which is awesome. We're just going to AOE him down though so I can keep shields up. There we go. Get a couple batteries in the process. So continuing onwards, we're going to come into rooms like this. I'm just going to pretty much ignore them, just come up onto their little catwalks, AOE them down. Again, if you're not very strong, you're always welcome to shoot them down as Luna. You don't particularly have to just AOE. If you need to use some range, that's perfectly fine. With my build, I'm perfectly happy with getting up close and personal. Our shields recover as we AOE, so... There's not a whole lot to worry about, so as we push forward, I'm just going to continue to AOE them down by running into them. There are ways you can kind of cheese this area, but we're, we're for the sake of just like a good guide, I'm not going to do any kind of cheese strats to get bypass anything. So something cool you can do, if you can land on the edge just right, hit your space bar, you won't jump. It's kind of like um, grabbing it, like you're pulling yourself up, but just sped up quite a bit. It's really good so you don't like get stuck in that animation. Now we're going to do one of my favorite things. Oh, shit. There we go. Now we're going to punch the ground as hard as we can. So this is going to be the boss room. Pretty much you're just, like most boss areas, you're just going to worry about AOEing down all the mobs in the area. And you're going to notice too, we've got a lot of cover for this boss fight. Like, I, li I really like this room. We, we probably won't use this back area, but even up front we still got some pretty solid cover. 
like the way the objects are shaped, it's going to be easy just to kind of kite around. And we're going to need that for the extra mobs he's going to summon. All right, here we go. I think. Oh, one more. We'll just pop them. Oh, laser got me. All right, here he comes. We're going to just go and spam this up so I can get our shields back. Now that we've got that ready to go, there's our shields. We'll go and open with some burst, and I'm going to head to a pillar now. Again, this is why it's very important to have ranged on your builds. That way, you, once they move a little bit closer, we can hit them. Like, notice here, we've got them slightly out of LOS, but we can hit them. He's got his boys coming. They're getting taken out before they can really do anything. Once again, we're just going to keep hitting him from a distance. Yep, and he has gone full potato, so we are in the green. We're not really going to take any damage from this guy, and we're just going to keep hitting him as hard as we can. He's going to throw some shields out, but that ain't going to do anything. Honestly, he's just going to add to our damage. All right, he's going to go back and summon some friends. Oh, he's just going to stay put. Never mind. I had that backwards. It's on me, guys. No problem, it doesn't really change much except for using the pillar to line of sight. Makes it easier. Actually, it makes this fight a whole lot easier since he didn't really move. We can just stay where we're at, keep AoEing him. All right. Honestly, the only thing you're really fighting with is patience on killing the boss. But but to be fair, like usually if you do like group lobbies, this is about how long it takes anyway. So to be honest, I really don't feel like there's a time loss here. I'm going to just get in there and kill these guys. I don't recommend doing this if you don't have the shields for it or you're able to get the shields up. Because he is going to chunk a bit of our health. But for the sake of speeding up the fight, we're going to do that. There we go. He's going to be by our pillar down there. I'm going to wait till I got a little bit more shields before I get up on his grill. Or I'm just going to let him come to me. Alright, we'll just let him come to us. We'll just pot shot him here and there. And now that we're back to low on shields, we'll just get that up. All right, we're good again. But yep, what I did there, you don't necessarily have to do. I was just doing it to save some time. Now, I will say I would not recommend this character if you're trying to speed run. Like, you can easily clear out the the missions, but don't don't use them to speed run. All right, look at that, guys. We got our two patterns, a lot of stuff. That's how long it took us. I bet that screw up trying to cross the platforms kind of added some time. Yep, definitely did. 15 minutes, but hey, I'll call that a good run. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.